The community of Parkland is remembering all the lives lost one year ago at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. A sign at the school is encouraging students to be positive, passionate, and proud. Some spent the morning with first responders and visiting with service dogs. Linda Beagle Shulman lost her 35-year-old son, who was a teacher at the school. I walked down the path today, and it was just like reliving last year when we walked down the path. The school has beefed up security, adding more than 100 new cameras and doubling its security staff to 18. But students like senior Alea Eastman are demanding more. Our lives depend on you. Our lives are in your hands. Thank she you. told her story on Capitol Hill last week. When the gunman shot into our classroom, Nicholas Dorrett was in front of me. As Nicholas fell, I matched his every movement and hid underneath his lifeless body. Last year, there was a memorial here with crosses and stars of David representing the lives lost. But now the community has made a garden. Students and parents of victims say they're getting strength from the community, but also through activism. But national legislative change has been modest. Congress hasn't passed any new federal gun control laws, but has passed legislation allowing states and federal agencies to better share mental health and criminal records. States, including Florida, have passed 66 gun control bills. At least seven states expanded background checks. A Florida commission investigating the shooting made dozens of recommendations last month, including metal detectors and so-called hard corners where students can hide. The district says it's adopted more than half of the recommendations so far. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Parkland, Florida.